because of the same thing, they're trying to do the white supremacy here. They try to, to, to bring white guides here and to take the supremacy over Arabs, which are the local citizens, and over blacks, which are so far the only Ethiopian Jews. Now, um, what I'm trying also to say is that, that um, another question is why? why? Why America needs Israel? There's no, in Israel there's no, there is no oil like in other Middle Eastern countries. There's no, nothing they can be attracted to. But why do they do all these things? Why do they invest money, bring white people and so on? When they build their system of white supremacy, just like in America they build in Israel, why? And I can tell you why. Because the true Jews, according to the Bible, you can check it in the Bible, you can read Job 30, 30 and some other places. They have never been white. They have been people of color. And they have not stopped in Ethiopia. They were in, West, in Ethiopia, Sudan, and they have settled in West Africa. From West Africa, they have been taken as a slaves to America. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. America going to do everything, going to invest as much money as it has, going to fight as much wars as they, as they can, going to invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. Going to take Israel, going to bring white people here, and to tell you these are the Jews, going to gonna kill you, going to kill Arabs, going to mistreat white people like this guy, just to tell you this lie. That, that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on. It has been deleted, your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why America has been taking your history away. Never to find out that it's all about you. I'm telling you this, please. I don't, know, I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try, asking you to start thinking this way. To believe me a little bit. Because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this. Uh, injustice. I really believe that people like me and you, we can we can bring the justice back. Thank you. He, do he doesn't know what tribe you're from. You don't know what tribe you're from? Just Jewish. You're just Jewish. Like, so you're like a Jew. You're like a Jew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I hope so. Oh, okay. You're hoping, you're hoping you're a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Moses was mistaken for an Egyptian, right? Why was he mistaken? He was mistaken for an Egyptian, right? He was Egyptian. What colors were the Egyptians? Black. They were black, right? Yeah. So Moses was a Hebrew, right? Yes. You're not black. Okay. You guys are you guys are bastards, man. You guys are the fake Jews, man. <laughs> hey, we got it. <laughs> he didn't even deny it. Yeah, he didn't deny it at all. <laughs>
people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That's why we go about being like how we are. We have no understanding. We are void of understanding. And the reason being is because every nation that we go to, we are always following after their gods. But I want you to know exactly how our God feels about that. Because a lot of people don't even understand that we have a God that actually demonstrates emotion, our, uh, our feelings. Okay? He's a God that demonstrates that. He gets angry. Okay? He's a God that gets angry. And we're going to let the scriptures prove that. Exodus chapter 34 verse 14. But thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. He's a jealous God. He says, worship no other God before me. Okay, in every nation, every captivity, that the children of Israel, you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians have went into, you have served their gods. Right. And we are out here to wake you up to tell you that you have a God of your own. This good. And it's time for you to wake up and see that. But a lot of us get upset because when you walk by, you hear us yelling and screaming. But we're going to prove that, that we've been charged to do that. Good. It's a commandment that the Most High has given us. Read. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. In the house of Jacob their sins, it is our job to come out here and lift up our voice. To cry aloud, okay? This megaphone is not even loud enough. Right. Of how numerous our people are. We have people that's all scattered across the four winds of the earth that need to hear this, hear this word. But when we out here screaming at the top of our lungs to bring this truth out to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you get offended. But how about this? What, what you gonna do when you uh, are you gonna get offended when the Most High come and he he, he bring his uh, uh, rap? Are you gonna get offended then? No, y'all get upset with us asking us why haven't we put this truth to you when we have done so? Read it again. Yeah. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight verse one. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Exactly. This is exactly what we want to do. A lot of you said that you love God, okay, but you don't want to do what the Lord tells you to do. Okay? Okay? Because you say you love God, but you don't want to do what God tells you to do. And we're out here to instruct you. We're out here to show you and to teach you the ways of life. The way to get into the kingdom. Read. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's right, because sin is the transgression of the law. We are to keep the law. And that goes back to what I was saying, sir. Okay? At the beginning. All right? We are to keep the laws of the Most High God. The laws are still valid today. They are not void. Okay, we're going to prove that. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. He said what? Think not. He said think not. Don't even, Christ said think not. Don't even fathom that. Don't even allow that to enter into your mind. Right. He says, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophet. He said, think not that I've come to destroy the law nor the prophet. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Okay, so he said, verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Now let me ask you this question. Are you standing on the earth? So the earth is still here, right? Still sky, right? So the heavens are still here, right? Read it again. Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So, 
not one drop, one jot, or one tittle, okay, that, that's this one slash, or one dot, of the Lord shall not pass away. Read. Till all be fulfilled. Until all be fulfilled. That's right. And we're not in our kingdom yet. That's right. We're not in our kingdom yet. That's right. And Christ didn't come back yet as well. All right. So there's a lot of things that have to transpire, okay, before we enter into our kingdom. But saying that the law is done away, the law still won't be done away with. Okay, what you got? Second Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. See that there? So this, this hasn't happened yet. Okay, am I correct? Have the, have the most high, that Christ cracked the sky yet and, and revealed himself? No. Okay, he has not. So therefore, the law is still what? <laughs> That's right. The law has not been fulfilled. Yes. The law remains. And this is why we were telling you, sir, okay, with Leviticus 19 and 21, uh, uh, Leviticus 21 and 5, about shaving your beard. Okay? That's a law. That's a law that you must keep. It's not hard to do so. Right. You understand? Yeah. All right. So are you going to keep that law? Yeah. All praise. All praise. All praise. All praise. I'm going to show you another one. Okay. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. Right, so you must think on your ways. You need to understand that you're impure, okay? You're not right. You're not righteous, okay? Like we was talking about the beard. You realize that now. You recognize that, okay? So now you must turn to the Most High's testimony to his laws, statutes, and commandments. You must keep them things, okay? Keep your beard. You understand? Stay away from pork. Stay, because we have a dietary law. Oh. Uh oh, you swerving. Bring it up. Huh? You like Wilbur, don't you? You like Wilbur? Wow. Huh? Jesus. You're, oh, yeah. Sometimes. The book? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. We're going to deal with that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the cloak and be cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cut. The who? He chewed not the cut. He chewed not the cup. Read it again. And the swine. And the what? The swine. The what? The swine. I don't think you heard. The swine. One more time. He got two in. The swine. The swine. What is another name for a swine? Who? The hey, pig, Wilbur. I like to call him Wilbur. Read. No eat him by the hook and be cloven foot. Yeah, he chewed not the cut. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. Unclean to you. All wrapped up in a pig is high blood pressure, diabetes, and all the other. Gout, all that. Good. Okay, but yet you still want to slice his stomach open and cut off his parts and eat it. And the Lord told you that it's, it's, it's an abomination. It's Good. unclean. Read. Verse 8 of their flesh. Shall ye not eat? He said, of that flesh, you shall not eat. Okay, so that flesh shouldn't even touch your teeth. Okay? It shouldn't even touch your teeth. shouldn't even touch your stomach. All right? Let's go back. Chapter 5, verse 17. 